Have you ever driven down a road and wondered why it feels the way it does? Why it's smooth but not slippery, flat but slightly curved, dark in color, and lined with markings that somehow make sense even when you're not consciously thinking about them? Roads seem simple, but beneath that quiet simplicity is an incredible amount of thought, science, and history. Every road you travel on is shaped by decades of experimentation and centuries of trial and error. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look and figure out why roads are paved the way they are, right here on History of Simple Things. Long before modern pavement existed, roads were nothing more than worn paths. People walked the same routes over and over, animals followed, wagons carved grooves into the earth, and eventually these paths became the first roads. The problem was that dirt roads changed constantly. Rain turned them into mud, sunlight dried them into dust, and heavy loads tore them apart. Travel was slow, uncomfortable, and often dangerous. As communities grew and trade expanded, people needed roads that could survive weather, weight, and time. One of the biggest realizations in road building was that a road couldn't just be a surface, it had to be a structure. Early builders learned that laying stones directly on dirt didn't work for long. The ground shifted, water seeped in, and the surface collapsed. The solution was layers. Strong materials at the bottom spread the weight, while smoother materials at the top created a comfortable surface to travel on. This layered approach became the foundation of road design, and it's still used today. Modern roads are built from the ground up, literally. Before any pavement is laid, the soil underneath is compacted and prepared. This base layer is crucial because if the ground below moves, the road above will crack no matter how good the surface looks. On top of this base come additional layers made of crushed stone or gravel, each one designed to distribute weight and drain water. The pavement you see is just the final layer of a much deeper system. You might notice that most roads are dark, almost black. That's because many of them are made from asphalt, a material derived from petroleum. Asphalt is popular because it's flexible. When heavy vehicles pass over it, asphalt can bend slightly and then return to shape. This flexibility helps prevent cracking, especially in areas where temperatures change often. Asphalt is also easier to repair making it practical for busy roads that can't be closed for long periods. Concrete roads exist too, and they serve a different purpose. Concrete is harder and more rigid, which makes it extremely durable under constant heavy loads. That's why you often see concrete on highways, bridges, and intersections where trucks stop and start. The trade-off is that concrete takes longer to build and is more expensive to repair. Choosing between asphalt and concrete is always a balance between cost, traffic, and environment. Roads are not perfectly flat by design. If you look closely, you'll see that most roads are slightly higher in the middle and slope down toward the edges. This shape helps water drain away. Water is one of the biggest enemies of roads. When it pools on the surface or seeps into cracks, it weakens the pavement and shortens its lifespan. Good drainage keeps roads safer and reduces long-term damage. The texture of the road matters just as much as its shape. Roads are made slightly rough to increase friction between tires and pavement. This grip is essential for braking, turning, and staying in control, especially in wet conditions. A road that looks perfectly smooth might feel nice, but it would be dangerous to drive on. 
That subtle roughness you feel through the steering wheel is actually keeping you safe. Temperature also plays a major role in how roads are designed. In hot weather, pavement expands and softens. In cold weather, it contracts and becomes brittle. Engineers must choose materials that can survive these changes without falling apart. In colder climates, roads are designed to handle freeze and thaw cycles, where water freezes inside cracks, expands, and breaks the pavement from within. Have you ever noticed how roads seem to guide your speed without you thinking about it? Wide straight roads make you feel comfortable driving faster, while narrow roads with curves naturally slow you down. This is not an accident. Road designers use width, curves, and visual cues to influence driver behavior. Instead of relying only on signs, they shape the road itself to encourage safer speeds. Curves on roads are carefully calculated. Sharp turns are avoided on high-speed roads because they increase the risk of accidents. When curves are necessary, they are often banked slightly with the outside edge higher than the inside. This banking helps counteract the forces pushing vehicles outward, making turns feel smoother and more stable. Even road markings are the result of careful planning. The colors, line widths, and spacing all follow standardized rules, so drivers can understand them instantly. White lines separate traffic moving in the same direction, while yellow lines separate opposing traffic. Reflective materials make these markings visible at night and during rain, helping drivers stay oriented even in poor conditions. Noise is another hidden factor in road design. The sound you hear while driving isn't just from the engine, it's also from tires interacting with the pavement. Some road surfaces are designed to reduce this noise by absorbing sound. These quieter pavements are often used near residential areas, making cities more livable without changing traffic patterns. Roads are built with a planned lifespan. Engineers know that no road lasts forever. Instead of aiming for perfection, they design roads that can perform well for a specific number of years before needing maintenance. This approach allows cities to manage budgets while keeping transportation networks functioning. Repairs, resurfacing, and upgrades are expected parts of a road's life. So the next time you drive, walk, or ride somewhere, take a moment to think about what's beneath you. That road is more than just pavement. It's a carefully engineered system shaped by history, science, and human experience. Roads are paved the way they are, not by chance, but because they represent the best solutions we've found so far to move people safely, efficiently, and reliably through the world. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.